the question you have to ask yourself is, who am I? Where am I going? What do I want to accomplish? Three major areas of goals that you have to think about. The first is your personal and your family goals. These are the reasons why you're alive. What do you want to accomplish for yourself and for your family? Write them down, define them clearly. The second set of goals that you have to ask is your business, your career, your financial, your material goals. What is it that you want to accomplish in the external world? Where do you want to make your contribution? The third type of goals you have to ask about are your self-development goals. And in my estimation, your ability and your willingness and your tenaciousness in developing yourself is the key to accomplishing everything else. You know that dream in you that seems out of touch and crazy? Yeah, that one. What if that dream was actually put in you for a reason? Do not buy into the fear that everyone around you calls logic. The dreams that truly make a difference are rarely logical. Be fearless in the pursuit that sets your soul on fire. The proper comparison group for you is you yesterday. First of all, you're the only control group that's appropriate to you because you have a certain set of talents and possibilities and limitations and tragedies that are truly unique to you. Shouldn't it just happen? Well, it doesn't. Basically, life is this way. What you put into it is what you get out of it. People want their life to be free of struggle and conflict. They want a smooth path in front of them. When you face adversity or, or things aren't going quite well, you have to reassess who you are. You have to reassess your opinions. You have to say, maybe I'm not doing this the right way. Maybe my patterns of responding in the past aren't working out. Maybe there's something wrong with me. How can I learn from this moment? How can I get past this particular obstacle? If you never have failure, if you never have conflict, you are never going to develop yourself in life. Even though you are scared, can you still go through with the task? Even though it's risky and you don't know what's on the other side, can you still stay focused, stay locked in, keep working and keep pushing forward? That's the person that people want to follow. You know what's the number one way you measure somebody that's hungry? Very simple. Their sense of urgency. That's simple. Let me explain to you why. So people say, well, you have no idea how hungry I am. Really? Yeah. What'd you do about it today? Oh, not today, but tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to, you ain't hungry, man. You, you just think you're hungry. You are not hungry. Think like the person you intend to become. Ask yourself, how would the person I'd like to be do the things I'm about to do? Everybody in here wants to get to the next level. And very simple, you can make two lists and I can tell you if you're gonna to get to the next level or not. Make a list of what you wanna to do to get to the next level. And on the other side of the list, what are you willing to do to get to the next level? And if that list doesn't match, you are so far away from winning, you have no chance. You do not have time to fuck around. You don't have time to play games, to be in everybody's face, to not be focused on your goals. Every single day counts. You didn't do nothing yesterday and you didn't do nothing today. Every single day that you don't do nothing, bro, is a day wasted. It's a day that you could have got better. You've developed a false belief system in yourself of what you need to know to take action. And so successful people are willing to step into the unknown and the unprepared more than people who are unsuccessful. So procrastination is really saying, I got to know a little more. I got to prepare a little bit more. I got to get a little bit more ready, a little bit more ready, a little bit more ready. And you keep raising the readiness quota to a point where you never take action. Mm -hmm. And so you got to get to this point where you're like, I'm going to get into the room. I'm going to start to write that paper. I'm going to start the book. I'm going to get into that and I'll figure it out when I get there. And most people that are successful have this internal belief system that I don't need to know everything to take action. Mm -hmm. I just need to know enough to get in the room and I'll figure it out from there. No one has ever, ever achieved anything if they haven't faced failures, if they haven't had disappointments. To achieve anything in life, you have to be prepared to take on the odds, face disappointment. You only lose when you give up. If you do not give up, you will win from 
the most incredible positions. The fight is in the mind. It's not physical, it's in the mind. What are the things that you fear that's been keeping you from living your dream? That's been keeping you from doing some things that you would like to do? Just think about those things. You must become a vigilant gatekeeper of everything you allow to go into your mind. Anything that gets into your mind is entering holy ground. When you recognize who you really are and why you've been put on this earth, you'll start to understand why the enemy works so hard to stop you. Why the negative thoughts and the self-doubt seem to come at you like bullets out of nowhere. You were not put on this earth to be average. You weren't put here to sit the sidelines. You were not put here to fail. You were given gifts and talents and skills so that you could go out and make a difference. You were put here for a reason and a purpose. You were put here to be great. We all have ambitions. We all have dreams and goals and desires that we want. But really what gets you to where you want are habits our daily habits. There are negative habits you can't get rid of, but there are other habits that like discipline, like working every day, like taking steps to get reach your goals that are immensely liberating. And you can get rid of your bad habits through developing positive habits, right? So the goal here is to focus less on the giant dreams and on the everyday process of changing your thinking. It's not really about what you want. It's about what you're willing to do to get it. Right? And in that, maybe you have to give something up that may not be a good habit to replace it with a better habit. Everybody got to make that decision. So it's not just about what you want. It's about what are you willing to do to get it? That's what it all comes down to, guys. I feel to be at the pinnacle of any game. In any, whatever you do, You've got to be a little bit wrong to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. People think being consistent means never falling off track, but that's not true. That's called perfection. And for most, that's just not realistic. Consistency means staying on track most of the time. And when you fall off, whether it was intentional or not, you pick yourself up and you get right back on. Consistency is about being persistent, not perfect. It can do. All it takes is determination. You'll get your chance. Sometimes it doesn't come as quick as, as, uh, as you'd like. And there's a lot of hurdles, but you will get there. You have to believe in that. For kids to bet on themselves, take some chances, get your knowledge, know what you're doing, and then go two feet in and then bet on yourself. If you go to somebody, you ask somebody and they shoot you down, don't let that be the answer. If you have a passion for something mm -hmm. and it's burning, it's your job to curate that passion. I really believe that. Mm -hmm. You don't take no fans. Can you look at yourself in the mirror and you got? Can you look at I have standards. I have value. I chose to do that. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? Nothing in life is promised except death. If you had the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's past. Seneca said there is no greatness without stillness in it. And I think that's right. What kind of success do you have if you, if you miss every sunrise and sunset, if you're always busy, if you never have time with your family, but also if you never have time with yourself? And so if you don't have moments of stillness in your life, I would ask you what kind of life you're living. And if the kind of life you're living is really your best life. If you do not have clear goals for your life, you are condemned forever to work for those who do. You see, in life, it's very simple. Either you are working toward the accomplishment of your goals or you're working toward the accomplishment of other people's goals. Our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions because we can accommodate and adapt 
The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes, the optical to our acting. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. The secret to an art unknown as turning obstacles upside down, to act with a reverse clause. So there's always a way out or another route to get where you need to go. So that setbacks or problems are always expected and never permanent, making certain that what impedes us can empower us. What is a mistake? Everybody will do something which will go wrong. Making something wrong the first time is not a mistake. It is your chance to correct it. But making the same situation over and over wrong again and wrong again because of the unwillingness to learn something from it, that is the mistake. The hardest battle that we fight is between what we don't want to feel and what we know we must do. Following your intuition isn't always rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes it's making decisions for the greater good that really hurt. Just remember, you are choosing what's best for your soul, and that is worth it. Anything you want good, you can have. So claim it, work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back, pull someone else up. Each one, each one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. The goal is to die fulfilled. How do you die fulfilled? You have to die unfilled. You have to empty out all of your efforts. You have to empty out all of your knowledge, all of your giving, all of your help, everything you have into making this world a better place, bringing your vision into a reality, which should impact many lives. There's, there's a saying, this quote that I really believe in that when the pain of the current reality becomes greater than the fear of change, that's when we change. So like when you become, the, when the pain becomes so intense that it's greater than the fear that you have of the unknown, then you'll go into the unknown. I had to convince myself that I'm gonna make it. What it does, it makes you feel like there's gonna be points that people are gonna mistake my confidence for arrogance. They don't understand the process that way.